cards, so I did her two mm-hmm. times. Three times. Three times. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, three times. Just turned her mouth. <laughs> yeah. Old joke. Nah, weather, and then we got eight inches. Hey, fizz rolling, guys. Uh, we get Minus ready to do good. this thing we call show. We can talk it's... about that once we go live. We'll have some fun with <laughs> Try it on the set, getting ready to go live on the radio. Zoom Room Video Communications brought to you by the BMC. You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia. In no other better freaking place in the world than Deltona, Florida. Here you are, lunch, with no other than the dynamic duo, Laz and Jack. Greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the news for you don't have to that's right bringing you our own brand of news five days a week right here inside and outside trotted avatar welcome to today's show it is friday january 18th here inside and outside trotted avatar and how's everybody doing today Good to see everybody I sliding on in. <laughs> alive. It, it, yeah, Botox, people actually how you joined doing? us Sean, before how you doing? the show. Yeah, yeah. Happy National Pizza Week, people. That's oh, right. Boy. Spiffy's out there. Spiff, you got your uh, little uh, personal pan pizzas ready to go in your air fryer? Oh, yeah. Got to have that. <laughs> hey, you know the we, air fryer is actually just everybody. a little convection oven. Yes, it is. It's yeah, yeah. When you when you come down to it, principles the same, you know. But the uh, yeah, the tray and the oil and the yeah, I just don't no see oil, it. Just air. Hot oh air. well, you know. Again, several little well, ones I was familiar. Several little yeah, ones I was familiar. Right. With. Several little ones I was familiar with required you to, like, put a tablespoon or two of oil in the bottom before you did things, so I don't know. Don't know. Gotta go get the prerequisite daily shout-out there. Get that one there. Get this one. (laughs) That helps. What are you trying to do now? Are you, are you trying to figure out how to do the giveaway thing? Um, I'm spamming zone and uh, 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 universe chat. <laughs> Not spamming per se, but uh, announcing that we spamming. are here. Spam, yeah. spam, spam. I send out one message a day. It's not spam. It is hey. not spam. <laughs> Twilight yeah. Tempest, how you doing? Simon, how you doing today? Good to see now, you, Zone. We we need to uh, talk about something. What do we need yeah, we to need... talk about? You got some splaining to do. You got some well, splaining. Well, so if you go look at the add-on store real quick. The add-on store, uh, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. 50% percent sales are back. <laughs> except well, for we... the new bundles. Could have, could have got that, uh, so the new bundles are not on sale, okay. Yeah, yeah, new bundles are not on Let's sale. I was hoping you. they would be, because I, 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 I might have bought one then. 
Oh, you might have hit one for 50% off? <laughs> yeah, I might have hit one for 50% off. Might yeah, okay. Have. Oh, come on. Don't you want to be master of the island? Yeah, I really don't give a shit. I, I really don't. Soto is absolutely, uh, we are. Um, you know, it's just a joke that, uh, one of the long, long, you know, uh, fought things here was, uh, do, do, you know, we want universe chat, we don't want universe chat, you know, we want a universal chat, and people fought for years to get universal chat because, and it was fought because people thought it would be really abused and spammed like crazy, and, uh, remarkably, universe chat is quite civil. And quite nice. Sean, thank you very much it, for those bits. So far, I when, when we start getting uh, uh, tens of thousands of players uh, concurrently, I'm sure Universe Chat is going to... That that may be so, but there's going to be... Right, uh, right now, with the, the number of players that are currently in-game, it really is not that bad. Yeah, so we joke because we really don't use it much. So when we do, you know chime in and use it i mean i no. i don't i don't keep universe chat on much throughout the day but uh when i'm bored and just you know sitting doing nothing i'll flip on over and see what people are talking about uh same with nobles chat i don't think i've looked at nobles chat in you know about a month <laughs> yeah uh i i no longer have any uh noble discourse orbs i sold them off so Soto is, yeah, I sent it in both. That's, that's why we, we joke about it. Yeah, I send it in both. Uh, yeah. Let everybody know who's in the local zone with us, which there are actually uh, there's a nice little handful of people out here. There's a half dozen people. Drake Gatiss is here uh, floating around. He's, uh, uh, yeah. He's tending shop down there. Cask is sitting on the lot with us. Let me pan out who's, who else is here. Biff's here. Yeah, Spiff and Casca are on lot with us. But of course, yes, so you can, guys can come and join us right here on the lot as well. Join us in Discord. Uh, join us in chat there. And of course, uh, again, thank you, Sean, for that donation. If you want to help support us, you can use the links popping up on your screen over there in chat. And uh, donate cheer in bits during the live streams. Uh, it's always a great way. Your name pops up on the screen. Yes. And uh, I, I, I got my second ever payout from Twitch the other day. Yay! Second ever. <laughs> there you go. Applause. Uh, applause. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's about it. Yep. And uh, yes. But 50% sale, let's uh, get out to today's, uh, let's get out to the update page there. B. Donham, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, you've thank only you. got, what, three more, three more attempts to buy into this, um... No, two more. Four. Today two. and next week, uh, the two, last two cur weeks Currently, to we're get at 121,000 of 130. Yes, let's, let's get that up on screen for everybody, uh... Friday sales are now open. And they are 50% off uh, all weekend uh, to help meet those stretch goals. So if you're looking for stuff, go ahead and buy them this weekend. And remember, the new bundles are not on that 50% sale. Crowns still 20% off. Yep. And, uh, yeah, interesting. We're waiting to see exactly what happens with those you... crowns. <clears throat> yeah, well, the QA server is also up. Yes, which indeed. Is good. It came QA up yesterday. QA is up and available for testing. We've got uh, some interesting uh, news out of the QA server. Do we tell them about it now, or do we yeah, let's wait go ahead a little bit? About it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and tell them now that if you go on the QA <coughs> server and you've completed the Shroud quest, uh, then you go talk to an Oracle and you can claim your your POT village deed as well as the shingled house. So it comes with a deed and a house. It comes with the to, house, yes. And you get to keep ye old POT row deed. 
So confirm that it is going to be two deeds that you get. And uh, we were discussing this just a little bit uh, before the show. And uh, again, I, I see how that really helps out the new folks. You know, you offer them, uh, you know, as Spiffy put it, what did you call them? Uh, studio apartment, Spiff, is that what you called it? No, one bedroom apartment. One bedroom apartment, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You start them out with a one bedroom apartment, the row lot, and uh, as they work their way up, they can aspire to the village lot for storyline completion. Um, y- you know, is I I I thought about it, but the more I think about it, sort of is the better the better it sounds to me because. You give them exactly what, you know, how Spiffy calls it, a one-bedroom apartment to get started with. They get acclimated with the game. They've got a place to call home so they don't get frustrated with bank limitations while they take their time learning. I mean, not everybody learns at the same rate, and it's a steep curve. We know that. But once you get them to the point where they're accumulating items in their house and they can take that storyline as quick or as slow as they want, and they have that next level of house achievement for free, um, by the time they get there, they've now stuck around for quite some time and are more, probably more likely to stick around if they go after that second deed than if not. So, um, And that's, that's what we want in the long run, is we want them to stick around and enjoy. And then... Uh, with the addition of being able to then upgrade said deeds um, with Kodos, um, that's your you know that's your grab to keep the players even longer. So uh, that's right. You got to have some place to put all those frost frost guys heads and uh, next Ramis eyes. Fishing so, trophies. They're gonna have to earn the uh, row lot too. They're not just gonna give well, that away, from what we understand. So it's not so. Uh, so they have. I, I don't know if people have actually really paid attention to some of this, uh, but Dan the man. Uh, I'm sorry, Dan the man, man Brennan. Was it Dan that has been actually, or uh, actually, it's Sanyo. Uh, Dan the man's. Dan the man's no longer there. I was going to uh, say. Sanyo has been upgrading some of the quest line uh, quests. So it may be that some of them are going to be a little bit more difficult and more in line with the love quest that has nothing to do with love. Because I'm still confused what that has to do with love. Got me. Are, are you, you confused? What's love got to do with it? What's yeah, love what's got, love to, got do? to do? Yeah, there you go. And, and the real question, you know, th- that is, hold on, I, I have to take <laughs> this phone call. Got to take this one. This one is not a telemarketer. <laughs> well, that's Spiffy on the old piano there, providing us the musical entertainment when he's here during the week. And uh, he's got some good stuff for... Uh, I tell you what, is uh, List had some killer stuff. He gave me some of that sheet music uh, that he was playing, uh, some of that Iron Maiden. So that was pretty cool. But anyway, uh, yes, um, Soda Wiz. I think that uh, th- this is just a better way to give them um, more achievable goals to keep the player in the game and interested. Uh, for a longer period of time, and the longer you can keep the player's attention, um, the better be- better it is across the board. The more likely they are to spend time really looking at stuff and then seeing stuff that they maybe you know maybe didn't know about, and then find interest in, and decide they're gonna stay and stay and stay. Yeah, and most people are goal oriented, and you know you have to have a goal. Absolutely. Now. Um, the way we understand this is again, uh, there, the uh, for anybody who's already completed it, all you got to do is go claim it. Um, yes, when you know if you already completed the shroud quest, you can just go claim the uh, new village deed. But uh, haven't gotten all the updated information, and I'm gonna guess that they're gonna tell us a bit about that in today's live stream. 
um, on what they're doing to move the accomplishment of uh, obtaining the row house, and it's going to be uh, hooked into the outskirts. So I'm going to, my assumption is they're going to tie it into you have to complete something in one of each of the different outskirts in order to claim the, the row lot deed. And then later on, you aspire, once you finish the storyline, get your shroud, that's where you're awarded the village lot D. Yes, P.O.T. only. And, um, again, these are uh, bound city accounts. These are not uh, tradable, these are just account bound, so they belong to only that person. They can't be sold, can't be traded. Yeah, they're not too tough, uh, again, uh, and yeah, not not, e not not even, I think, account bound. Uh, again, if you have uh, multiple characters, um, each character, I believe, can also achieve that. Um, that's a good question. Uh, that's one, one we'll have to ask and we'll have to find out, Is uh, but uh, as, you know, as I recall, Jack probably answered this. Jack, what? on a on a second character, can you achieve the quest and get another deed? Yes. No. No. But I've got I, two I, separate I don't know. Accounts. I... <laughs> well, if you have two separate accounts, yes. But if you're doing it as a second character slot, I don't believe it will give you the the quest deed. No, no. The so. second character slot will not get one. But the yeah. uh, if you have second, a complete account, I've completely got a separate account. account. Yeah. 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 I don't. I don't you know. Can just, you can uh, do as many times as you want. On gonna have to find that out uh, as soon as. Uh, may have to put that in as a question then. Um. And hold on. I can log into the QA server right now to see whether or not the new, uh, the new deed is account bound. Although there's now a brand new patch on the QA server. So they just patched the QA server to patch number seven eighty nine. Seven eight nine. Yeah, so I am patching the QA server, so I am using all my bandwidth, and so <laughs> hopefully my stream does not suffer too much. Suffer, um, suffer. <laughs> yeah, suffer, 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 <laughs> suffer. Suffer, yep. oh bandwidth. Yeah. Stop downloading the porn. What? Well, you know what? Yeah. It's yeah. I, I have to get my kink on, and you know, you know I am. <laughs> I might be a little kinky. He's downloading the Game of Thrones, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's like, <laughs> what's not to love? I mean, anyway, I'll pay, I'll, I'll, I'll pay to see Cersei naked. As uh, seeing as this is an AMA today, uh, I'm going yeah. to assume we're going to get answers to these questions if they're asked, hopefully, um, out there this uh, this afternoon, and they'll they'll enlighten us as to actual changes that are being made. But we can see these these are going to be implemented come next release, which we are. Uh, Inching ever so closer and closer to uh, still just you know a little under two weeks left, and uh, again I hate Januarys. <laughs> well, it's it, it's it's January is rough just because it's a weird part of the development cycle. This one's been an interesting and, one, though. Yeah, I gotta and, say, and different they from they are making substantial past years. Changes. So that's pretty good for us, um, and they have released a bunch of information. But like the the holiday period, and then the first week into the new year, that is by far the worst time of the year for us um, because they they aren't working, we aren't working, and then we come back, and as the developers get back to work and start churning out more information, it becomes a little bit uh, more entertaining. So. Moving right along. No, no, we're not moving anywhere. Okay, where, no, where, where, we, where are we that sitting? I'm going to be on that test server and see what I can do yeah. to it. Cloaks and, uh, you know, belts and such. Backslide it. You want to yeah, grease up the backslide a little bit? Yeah, 
give me a reason to work yeah. up my tailoring mastery. Yep. Let's see. I'm perusing. Because we got a whole bunch of questions. Oh, what? Where the hell is this place? What are you looking for? Um, there's a, a another Ren Fair in Houston area. <laughs> Forget about the Ren Fair. It's Friday. We got to finish up. I don't, I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You're making plans for the weekend already. I tell you what. Yeah. Well, not not this weekend. Um, <laughs> some, some, someone's asking me a question, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying to answer it because I I bought a uh, a lifetime pass to a Ren Fair that's currently only like uh two weekends. So it's a very small one, and it is out in the middle of nowhere in Please. East Texas. So you bought a life. Oh, Isn't that all of Texas? <laughs> it, 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 it's pretty, pretty much. I mean, but, uh, yeah, so I bought a lifetime pass, and I told this chick uh, that's interested in me, and she's like, oh, where's that at? And it's like, I don't know. I've never been there. Uh, so you it, bought it was, a lifetime pass to the place that you're going to visit twice a year that you don't know where it is. Did sounds I, like you bought Did, did I just hear bridge. that? Yeah, well, did I just hear that, right? It, it, they are talking about like expanding it into more than two weekends. Um, and I'm logging into the QA server right now to look at the uh, deed to see if it is a. Yeah, tradable. it should be a countdown. I, I think uh, it is. Well, again, it's just going to say it's going to be red. And uh, I don't even know if I have my rollout on me. Uh, uh, well, I have both of them on me because y y you know me and placing deeds. Um. I, I, I have way too many deeds. You got and on you. So the important thing about the QA server is you need to remember that you are not allowed to stream it. You're not supposed to share pictures. You can discuss it, but no visual public, evidence. Yeah. 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 So, But no visual information is supposed to get out uh, because the QA server is a test server and so it is buggier than the normal server and sometimes um, it, it, it sometimes it, it is extremely buggy and so but uh, it is it is fine to like record a video and like say post that on the qa forums um yeah so. anyway Uh, so, QA server is loaded. I am in town. Let me do a search for deed. Uh, so, it is red for the player-owned town road deed as well as the village deed once you complete those quests. But again, it doesn't really tell us if it's... Uh... If it's red, that means it's account bound. Right. It's it's bound to that character. But that still doesn't answer whether you can no. get a second character and get a second deed. If it's account, it's not player bound. It is account bound, so you will not be able to get a second one. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I would highly doubt it since um, that character is carrying down all of the uh, yeah. the the main character's um, uh, virtue. Shit, His virtue. Thank you. Yes. Um, that stuff. So I can't. You know, I definitely think it's account bound. I don't think you can get it with the second. Besides, you want a second? Free account. Go do, do it again. Well, Just yeah. Create is, a new email and create a new account. Uh, and, uh, understandable, yeah. but there are uh, a, a very good handful of us who have three characters on our account automatically due to pledges. So, you know, we got got to figure out how that works. Yep. That's all. All that That's backing all. they did. And then there's a dog that is walking around and wagging his tail on the green screen and he's not supposed to be in my room <laughs> if the dog jumps on my bed i'm going to gonna have a conniption probably because that's lily's bed lily's oh well sleep. you know L lily should take care of that then well lily is hiding because she <laughs> does not like dogs no i don't blame um, her yeah, Lily and dogs do not get along at all. 
Yes. All right, Hi, so Hercules. What, what do you want to go here? You want to do some questions for today? <clears throat> no. Okay. You don't want to do some questions? <laughs> I, 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 I want to take a nap. Okay. Is, is that fine? No. No? I can't take a nap right now? You, you can take a nap in uh, 34 sick. minutes. <laughs> 34 minutes? Okay. Until then, we do have stand-up corner for everybody. Then we can do questions. Okay. How about that? And we can do because we we have Thursday and Friday stand-up corner for everybody. Uh, stand-up corner is where the devs say, "Hey, I worked on this yesterday. I'm working on this today." Something random gets written down, eventually gets posted to the interwebs, and we get to interpret it. Yay! Mm -hmm. Interpretation, the way news is always done. Uh, so on Thursday, Damon. That that NBA Joel I'm is real, again, real, and again, <laughs> and he's finishing it today or yesterday. Hopefully, we'll Hopefully. see. We'll see what today says. I, I haven't read <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. today's I, I, yet. I, I, I have already, <laughs> and, and that was okay, already. I haven't read today's uh, yet. So. Jerry Springer has, uh, or wait, not Jerry Springer. Who's who's Maury Povich has done the lie detector test and found out that that was a lie you are the uh, father yes you are the father <laughs> of the NBA angel uh, over in design Beezus <laughs> the Beezinator still lube in the back slot still. Uh, obviously the, the master working and enchanting needed some more lube and uh, yeah, it's still a little tight needs to be worked out and updates uh, and, and, and crafting updates Yes, updates. Updates. Yeah. And Sanyo working on the new quest in the clink. Woohoo. And is this we've said it many times. Quest, yeah. Or is this I, a, I, a thing in the old one? It says I, I new know. quest. It says new quest. So new quest in the clink. The clink quest for a Love long the time was my favorite quest in the game. Um, just because you could actually go back to the person where you started gold? it. No, you could go back to the person that you started it, tell her that you did something bad, and then she starts calling you names whenever you come around her. And I kind of enjoyed that. Something about being known as a black heart is entertaining. <laughs> and, and he's also working on episode two planning. The Energy Vortex working on some dungeon rooms. And slash cheer, he's working on the Duke throne room. Mm hmm. Indeed. Might, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then over in tech, Dr. Bob working on the web store work from home. Uh, I like the Yeah. Worked on recovering from a bad check in and machine setup and QA publishing work. Uh, Wizard Smoke, he's puff, 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 passing around the crown store. More today. And your vape is so much louder than mine. Well, I, I'm, I'm leaning into the mic and getting right up in front of it for Wizard Smoke, you know? So, yeah. yeah. Although, I, I, yeah. Um, then <clears throat> Deathbringer one and only working on bugs. Bug. And item preview enhancements for the crown shop. Item. Oh, Soda Wiz, I did not know that. Updates are updates for someone that doesn't know how to use a spell checker. <laughs> I had no clue. And you like how the dog keeps on like walking back and forth and like moving. I'm not screen. really seeing that, so uh yeah, that's entertaining. Uh, it, it, no. Can't play with that. And you pay know, no attention to the dog behind pay, the screen. Yeah, pay is, no uh, attention to, to what's behind the I, I see Sir Frank out there, Sir Frank looking to get in on a uh, giveaway, and, uh, you know, I didn't open one earlier, but i uh, tell you what we're going to do real quick. I'm going to do uh, one for the uh, between now and the well, end of the show on. here. I need to bang. I love this shit. Here we go. 
And that's yeah. going to be for 20 uh, teleport to zone well, uh, I'm sorry to say, so today. the Wiz, that is actually an incorrect statement. Um, Chris does not use Internet Explorer. He uses Netscape Navigator 3.4 because that was the best version ever. With extensions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> Uh, then, uh, <laughs> then after that, uh, <laughs> where was I at? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Brown Store J Y. Yeah. <laughs> the the end game deed upgrade work with crowns. Uh, over in Studio Services, Chaos is working from home with a sick wife. Ooh. Yeah. Get better soon, Brecken. Yeah, Brecken, get ready. Get better soon so that way you can go back to packing the fudge. That's right. Uh, yeah. Uh, and if you didn't know, uh, Brecken is actually a fudge chef. She does make fudge for some company in Austin. She runs a fudge shop. Yeah, she doesn't pack the fudge. She just cooks the fudge. But <laughs> it's much more fun to say that she's packing the fudge. Uh, but <laughs> and, and I actually... She actually said something to me about that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I don't the, pack the fudge. <laughs> the, the, there was a conversation about that, as I recall. <laughs> there, there actually was. It, it was funny. Uh, we love you, Brecken. Yes. It, yes, and the place we is called you, Yummy Rick. Joy. So, yes. Uh, um, then over in Useless Overhead, Lord British is working on episode two planning and ignoring my tweet still. Uh, the Dippy Bird working on business planning and episode two documentation and data center work. The Dork Star is WFH on business planning. So working, working from, from home, home. Yeah. and release notes and the live stream prep. So I guess everybody in the office is getting sick thanks to the Dippy Bird. And now for Friday. Yeah, no, notice he wasn't coughing today. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yesterday. But he's got everybody... Uh, everybody sick. else is at. And Damon says that the Envy Angel is done! Woo Other than it needs some animation work. Other than it needs some animation work. And since Damon is now the artist as well as the animator, the Envy Angel is not done. Uh, over in design, Beezus is working on... Enchanting and Masterwork checked in, and it should be on the next QA. So if you're on the QA server, go check out your backslide. It'll be in that patch and, you and, just And see downloaded. if it's there. That's right. Yeah. And bugs. I'll, Bug. be in, I'll be investigating it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything. Photo is wants to know the Angel what the Envy Angel is. That's right. The new boss mob that is coming into the game that is the seasonal boss mob. So you have Krampus during the Christmas or the holiday season. You have the pumpkin patch. You have the Envy Angel. You have uh, a killer wabbit. You have. So there are going to be six seasonal boss mobs. And I think the Envy Angel is one of the last ones to be worked on. Because I can't. Well, that's Cupid. Representing yeah, Valentine's it, Day, yes. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it is our, our, our demented Cupid. I, I'm sorry, you know, it doesn't get be any better than the Killer Rabbit. Sorry. Yeah, the Killer Rabbit was the first one. <laughs> that rabbit is fun and you know it. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, I was there the day Lum walked into a bar as a stumbling <laughs> character. Yeah. yeah. Dropped the first book down and made the announcement, and it was, uh, yeah, the rest was history. Anyway. Yep. Then, uh, let's see. Where are we at? Um, bugs. Bug. Uh, Sanyo working on quest improvements in Cyanus. 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 Wow. And bugs. Anus. Yeah. And... The Energy Vortex is working on oh, dungeon rooms again. And Cheer, he's working on the Duke Throne Room again. Mm -hmm. Yay. Over in tech, 
Dr. Bob working on web store data, JY working on async loading discussion and working on fixing some allocations. Yes. Allocation. Yeah. Okay. Wizard Smoke, he's working on the Crown Store more today. More? Crown Store more? <clears throat> yep. You want more. Oh, and it's actually time for me to refill my uh, vape. <clears throat> what kind so, of juice you putting in today, Jack? I, I don't know. I'm just going to randomly grab some stuff that's in front of me <laughs> and, like, squirt some in, so... Uh, so, grab number one is going to be some legend, which is a banana rum. Ooh. What about ghost peppers? Uh, no, 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 you don't want to be inhaling ghost peppers. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, screw that. Um, banana that, rum is that, nice that, by there, itself, by the way. Th there, There is a reason that uh, Sean's name is actually pronounced cock. <laughs> uh, maybe some red dream. Uh, the, the the Deathbringer one and only is working on bugs. Bug. Uh, and then after that, we do have the Burning Toad working on the QA build work. Uh, don't forget, there is a new patch out there for the QA and the indeed in-game deed upgrade work with crowns, which takes us to studio services where Chaos is working on I, I don't I don't think I want the maple pecan. I think I want uh ambrosia. Maple pecan would go good with the banana rum. Well with everything that I've mixed in there already. Well you said you were empty, so well I it's like th this is flavor. Yeah, how number how, three how big's your chamber for crying out loud? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's almost it's almost to the it's almost full, so it's good enough. Yes, uh, but uh, then, thanks to the good folks at Hometown Hero. Yeah, Laz gets his for free. I have to pay for mine because uh, I haven't done their their sponsor thing yet. I don't know if I will, though. Um, I haven't gotten after, any for a while, but I'm still yeah, working well, on stuff I picked up when I was down at the factory. I, mean, it's, <laughs> I have so much still from my stock that it's like... I. I don't need any, and I don't know if these things have an expiration date or not. Soda Wiz, uh, it could be yeah, addicting. Yeah, where's the rose chicken flavored vape? It can or cannot have nicotine in it, so that's yeah. dependent on yourself. Yeah, you can yeah. vape with no nicotine, just to vape. Um, and, uh, you know, that's, yeah. But uh, if you're using with nicotine, more likely than not, yes. Is, uh, because nicotine is an addictive substance. Yes, absolutely. Substance. But uh, they do have so it both. Uh, yeah. Win Silver Moon. Thank you, darling. Always good to see you out there. Here in 500 bits. Thank you. Thank you. Always, thank you. Always appreciate Love it. You. Love you. KX is working on customer support and partner support and sales and emails. Lord British working on the episode two planning and still ignoring my tweet. Uh, the Dippy Bird business planning, data center work, and episode two design work. The Dork Star working on travel, prepping for the live stream, weekly update, the bug list work for the Rogue. QA ser server, and then he's starting on the release 62 post. Indeed. Yeah. Yep, and that's what our dev said they were working on. That's what they're and, up to. That's right. And don't forget. Today's live stream from the devs is an Ask Them Anything, a which means AUA. 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 Ask Us Anything. Yeah. Ooh. 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 <laughs> That's right. Don't forget, we're sitting at uh, 21000 I believe that should be the right number. $21,051 of 135 and, uh, of course, all those stretch goals you see up on stream, yeah. up on screen, is uh, all the checked off ones have been achieved, and there's only a couple left, uh, you know, close to these last, uh, last three, and again, last two weeks, this weekend, next weekend, to help achieve all those stretch goals, so. Excellent. Absolutely, people get in on the fun. Thank you for the follow. Serial noob. Serial noob. <laughs> yep. It, he's serial, man.
I tell you. <clears throat> so you you ready to to answer some questions without us being the devs? Sure. Okay. So starting with Warfgar, who wants to know what does Monster Con color indicate? So you have three colors: the green, which means that they are less than less than five levels below you. You have yellow, which is they are within. I was like gonna say we have or maybe ten levels. Couple couple, um, couple different shades, yeah. Three major yeah. levels. Three. Uh, a yellow means they are within uh, five levels plus or minus of you, and then red is going to be six to ten levels and All up ass and above run. you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, that con color really doesn't mean shit. Because there are some green mobs that will fuck you It over. will hurt you hard, that's right. <laughs> yeah. A, a light green mob that's an archer is going to destroy you if you are Laz and you wear toilet paper for armor. <laughs> yeah, don't let it get behind you. And it, especially if you don't know how to run away. Run away! So, Not in my uh, vocabulary. Now, Soda Wiz does have that question of does experience change depending on the color of the enemy? As far as I know, it doesn't. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Now, each enemy has a predetermined as skill. Uh, yeah. Not skill, um, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Point determination. Uh, he, he also wants to know, do, do I have a crater chance to dodge the monster hits? Uh, I'm sorry to say, but I, I think Shroud Math is a little bit warped as far as, like, hitting and missing Depends. Goes. Depends on, yeah, several different <laughs> yeah. things. Uh, what is your uh, avoidance? Yeah. What buffs do you have? What kind of yeah. armor are you wearing? I mean... Because I can hit a dragon all day long, except its damage reduction means I do no damage. Yeah. 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 I'll then, just I'll just give him a good you know uh, right here on my character sheet. The way I'm dressed for the game right now for the yeah. studio, I have an avoidance level of three in what I'm wearing here. If I switch over to what I fight with. You know, my equipment gives me a avoidance of 31, and that's before I apply any buffs, which, you know, helps with your dodge capability. So there's, you know, many different factors um, in, into that Shroud Math is really what it comes down to. Yeah, I, I think Shroud Math is a little bit off as far as combat goes, because, uh, so, if... I, I think that, like... <clears throat> the if i go into detail we'll be here all day <laughs> about this um, absolutely casca is leroy because, lazarus is uh, my other name that's exactly yeah. my play style <laughs> yeah um the the reason i think shroud math is wrong is because if you take say two fencers this is the easiest way to do it how many times are they actually hitting versus how many times are they uh, parrying or blocking the sword from hitting them? And you notice that it's like a fencing match is first to three points. And so it's not like, whereas Shroud Math currently in the game is hit, 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 hit. Everybody's hitting everybody. Oh, uh, Savio, uh, how is this different from the official... Uh, jack and last page well sometimes that guy goes down and uh then we have to rely on this one so we both get we both <laughs> and hardly anybody watches mine yes uh back back in the day uh back in the early uh, day someone I, yeah. so, someone has had a we, we used to have all sorts of uh yeah again lazarus Wait. technical Who? difficulties long yes yeah but have some uh, technical difficulties uh, more often than not. So uh, than not, yeah. Jack was always streaming right alongside. So if I lost stream, we would have a backup to produce a, a full show with. Uh, yeah. These days, it truly exists just for the sole purpose of 
giggles and grins, Jack being able to get donations while we're live, and, uh, you know, again... Because uh, last doesn't a, share. A backup, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you want to talk about sharing. We, 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 we could talk about some sharing yeah, no, there, no, my no. friend. We're, yeah. we're not going to talk about yeah, sharing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Laz, Laz doesn't have to share that part. He, he yeah, knows yeah, no, that. No, no, he doesn't. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. um, yes, uh, no different. Jack uses a few different graphics, as you'll notice. Uh, but yes. uh, Same show, just uh, Jax, Jax has always been there because uh, we like to be redundant as hell. You know, we're real geeks. And, and uh, we also streamed to two different Twitch and Jess servers. So that way, if you have a performance issue, because Twitch does occasionally have performance issues, you can catch one or both of us. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, there, there's... But believe it or not, for a show with no script, there's a lot of work that goes on to uh, doing all the magic that we... And, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. I still believe we're one of, you know, we're very f limited few people who do what we do. Two guys on one stream, you know, doing, yeah. you know, you know lo lo located thousands of miles apart. Thank okay. you for the bits Omega flow. Love you, man. Love you, man. Street, man. <laughs> Bastard. Uh, but yeah, the skinning have higher level feel. Does higher level field dressing affect the chances of a dragon head to drop in loot? It Shroud should. Math. Shroud math. <laughs> Shroud yeah, math. Yeah, I mean, technically that, it should. That, 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 that's that's how I'm going to answer that one. Shroud math. Yeah, you know, isn't it really based on just the random RNG of uh, yeah? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Two Folds of Silence wants to know. So since performance has increased enough to allow robot owners to have empty robots, would it be possible to allow homeowners to re remove the wooden shutters on their houses completely? As I have really no interest in window, window shutters, whether they're open or not. I would like to see an <clears throat> option like that if it's the, possible. But The issue with that is they would actually have to redo the entire house and because that is part that is baked into the game but i would like to see you know if you leave them open they stay open if you leave them closed they stay closed i hate Instead them resetting every time you log in or yes. out that I, yeah. Close. yeah that that i would like to see fixed that, that that would be a lot better fix in my opinion but yes yep um then after that uh Will we be eventually buy upgrade tax free lots from the new in ground in game crown shop? No. So if you upgrade a tax free lot, it's going to become a taxable lot. Yeah, and you're definitely never going to be able to buy a tax free lot. Crown. Yeah. So, uh, would you guys consider adding above ground coral reef houses? to go with the awesome fish head masks. Yeah, I, I know I've seen that <laughs> question before. SpongeBob <laughs> is what we are becoming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. SpongeBob. Can't wait Maybe till we fun. meet our first fish. Wind, I love you. And, and, and uh, Yay, wind. Congo rats. Congo rats. Or Congo rats. Yeah, uh, also cheered. Woohoo. I got some. If you fill up the, woohoo. <laughs> if you if you fill up the tip jar, uh, I, I will be extremely happy. Uh, then uh, Nick wants to know: Now that we have dungeons going downwards, can we have a reverse and build a castle or big house going upwards? Castle rooms and hallway backs to mm. build our own castles. <laughs> I I love that, but they do not really have the tech for that because a dungeon. Is, is a scene upon itself. Is, yeah. yeah, a scene upon itself, whereas the everything above ground is already been baked and they don't have the tech available for it. Now, you know, I was yeah. out standing over the, by although my Although that towns. might come, yeah, that might come, say, episode three. Yeah, if we can get flexible placement, then, then we yeah. might be able to get something like that. But, uh, 
You know, I was standing out by my towns last night just uh, doing my thing, playing some uh, the new music that Lisk gave me. And uh, I realized, you know, there's plenty of potential for fishing out on the Overland map. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. You you want to fish on the overall? I, I want to be able to stand outside my towns fishing, you know, so that I can see people when they're going by and, you know, tell them about my towns and, you know, so I can actually be doing something active on the overworld map. Mm. Thoughts, food for thought, yeah. you know. Because <clears throat> right where I am, I'm um, right, I'm you, right you, at you, the you... mouth of the uh, of Blood River. It goes out into what we assume the ocean, and we've got marshland over there, so it's like all sorts of stuff you can do with it. Uh, well, if you're... I, I'm still waiting for them to actually uh, implement the fishing brings up a monster. Yes. And Absolutely. They, could, they could actually make it to where if you're finch fishing on the overall map... Uh, then you have a higher chance of pulling up a monster or something like well, that. Well, yeah, it was a throwback to the old uh, Ultimas, the uh, yeah. sea well, serpents it, that would uh, come off the water yeah. as you were traversing the overland. But uh, yeah, just food for thought. Fishing on yeah. the overworld, you know, <clears throat> some yeah, experiences yeah. with some right. sea serpents maybe. You also you also need attack turtles because there's nothing worse than oh, a attack red turtles. Snapper. <laughs> red snappers. Damn yes, bad. treasure bad. chests would spawn mobs, but those were mostly on land where you had to discover yes, those. It, and UO treasure maps did spawn mobs. The, yes, I loved those things because as soon as, the best way to uh, do a treasure map in UO was uh, to dig it up and then either hide or cast invisibility before you get attacked and then pick the lock and then loot the thing and then just walk away. <laughs> um, yeah. I may have done that a few hundred times. Um, you you yeah, think? Maybe. Uh, but that was when you could precast as well as some other things. Uh, or you have someone else cast invisibility on you and then run away. Uh, Parishim wants to know <coughs> will the more expensive summons like the demon be more powerful than the summons since it costs over 7 million to raise to level 100 Chris is working on summons uh, or he was the other day so we will see uh, but at, at the same time a, a demon I still th think that it should like have a 30% chance to attack you even if you have like that GM control demons spell. <clears throat> and so think? if you have like zero on that, it has like an 80, 90% chance of attacking you. Uh, yeah, because you, you know what, what happens when you summon demons and you don't have like a circle of salt or anything like that? Wait, I don't know. That's, uh, the circle of salt's for ghosts. What, what is it that Supernatural teaches you about controlling demons? Uh, I can't remember. Um, it's cheery. <laughs> yeah and how how far down the year is the chaos tree rebalance no clue no clue we, we'll, we'll get working on that again uh, number three is it possible that the death tree will be getting zombie skeletal wyvern dragon summon in the future it already it's the mm. only tree that actually has two summons because you can summon the skeletal warrior Get as skeleton. well as the skeleton mage and then, can't you also summon the leech? Is that the same? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, That's sorry. Three. Can, three, yeah. So you can also summon the, the lich. Uh, yeah. what, can you summon a, a lich mage? I, I don't know. I don't have any death. And I haven't for a long time. You can summon skeletal sorcerer. <clears throat> no, but can you summon the lich mage? If you do the same thing with uh, to summon the skeleton mage. No? Okay, not yet. Uh, then how much more will the increased effectiveness from Undead Mastery affect the Death Tree summons? Shroud Math. Um, and then he asked, could the Enlightenment skill be in combined with the Lich Fighter skill to make a summon Lich Mage skill? So, 
Yeah, he, he wants a fourth summon as well as a fifth, sixth, and seventh summon for Necromancer. He wants to be a Necromancer, he which was really, which is my original dream. He really but likes those the dreams dried up were husk. shattered. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one day I'll explore that path again. I, I, but... I don't. Yeah. He really likes the uh, the dried up husk, and he really <laughs> wants to have tons of fun. Indeed. Yeah, not my thing. A tick tock, tick tock. Of course, uh, it is oh, a Friday. Past. We've been, we are, past we, we are running past. Uh, I got a question uh, come across Discord. Uh, somebody asking, "What sells good for real life gold. cash?" And yeah, gold. Gold. Yeah, there's there's yeah, a gold, good gold, one. The, there, gold will sell every single day yes. uh, between eight and ten dollars. Is uh, gold is probably one of the best items uh, out there because everybody wants it, everybody needs it, right? Yeah. But uh, yeah. real quick, uh, we're gonna go ahead. We are running late, so uh, we're gonna just do a quick wrap up and uh, download the app. Yeah, I don't even. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know if. Well, yeah, I got that thing. Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I have that tab open. It's been one of those days, of course. But yes, don't forget we have the app out there. Actually, I'm just going to jump to... Uh, I already rolled the sponsors a minute ago there. And uh, just going to remind everybody who they're watching. They're watching NBNN on nbnn.info, twitch.tv slash twitch.tv slash nbnn news. And catching us in replays on YouTube. If you gotten this far... Click that sub button, click that like button, click that notification button. If you're watching replays on, on there, go ahead and click those donate buttons below. You can donate around the clock. We don't have to be live, but it's always nice to see you all donate uh, up on the screen there. And thank you all for your support out there. We love you guys. Um, and yes, uh, again, don't forget, we're here, season four, four years bringing you guys the news here. Don't forget today's live stream happening, uh, four o'clock today, 50% sale going on all weekend long. We got a good chance to get those stretch goals. <clears throat> and of course, uh, don't forget, we're going to tell you about the marketplace because the marketplace is the place to go if you're looking to make some real life cash. Um, add a stuff the marketplace is the place you want to go to do that and uh, That's why there's over a hundred and forty vendors out there, right? Jack? 140 different players registered as vendors yes. and each one of those vendors gets to set their own prices and maintain their own inventory So deliver your stuff <clears throat> make money and be happy Now as soon as an order comes in you get paid is all I can tell you is yeah, you know, I remember back when there was, you know, four and five vendors. Uh, you know, it's 140 oh, yeah. vendors for a reason, folks. Uh, they come here because stuff sells here. Um, so that's the best advice I can give you. Go to the marketplace, register for an account, and start selling those things that you want to get rid of. You got gold. Yep. Yeah. Gold? I mean, gold, gold. Sell it. Register as a vendor, start putting your stuff up for sale on a crowd marketplace, and you know what? Put it in a chest that on your <clears> your your lot, and say forget it. And as soon as it sells, go back to that chest and pull it out and deliver it. And even better it. these yeah. days, Universal Banks put the chest Universal in the thing, bank, yeah. leave yeah. it in the bank, so wherever you are, you can retrieve it from the nearest bank and make a delivery. Works like oh, a absolutely. charm. I tell yeah. you what. I tell you what, I love yeah. the marketplace because I mean, again, I, I love it too. Scrolls, I mean, I've sold scrolls, I've sold I gold. Not, remember uh, the first time I sold scrolls? I was actually driving. From you were driving down the, the road, <laughs> and it's like, dude, I just sold scrolls. You had to had to text me while I was driving, dude. Uh, yeah. I can't believe we sold scrolls. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, you name it, you can sell it on the marketplace. Uh, if it's yeah. got any value, services available out there. We got the cheesiest service in the world right here on the lot. Uh, all sorts of great stuff out there. Any Anything and everything that is not a bannable offense can be bought or sold at Shroud Marketplace as long as it's game related. So, yeah, you know what? If you're looking to sell anything, uh, 
go to Shroud Marketplace, uh, register as, as a vendor. So first register an account, then on the left-hand side, click on vendor registration, start listing your items, put a picture on there and then put a description. And I, mean, what's the worst thing that happens? You sell something. That's right. Uh, yeah. Uh, but remember that there is no one telling you what to price the price to price anything at. I, unless you're looking for some advice. Uh, so you end up with an actual marketplace. You get to figure out what what you think is something is worth. So that's where you end up with uh, teleports and recall scrolls uh, cheaper at some guy's shop than some other guy's shop. Four ninety eight. I, I know you at four four sixty nine. Yeah, guaranteed not to fizzle. He'll sell you fizzle insurance. That's but right. yes, I'll any, sell you insurance on anybody's product. And that's right. Anybody's project product. Uh, so anything and everything from accounts to game gold, crowns of the obsidian, cheaper than you can get off the add-on store, all the way to services, anything and everything. So go check out shroudmarketplace.com and do yourself a favor. Have fun. Indeed. Make some money. And don't but forget yeah, it, 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 the live stream. Oh, that too. That too. And you know what time it is? I do. It's time for us to scoot on out of here because the weekend is upon us. I got to get this stuff in the can and then uh, get on out there to do some poking around on that test server. But of course, uh, don't forget, don't forget, get in on the action, uh, get out and get those bargains while they're still available because everything's going to be changing in a couple of weeks. So be ready for it. Don't tell you, don't tell, don't, don't say you haven't been warned, but uh, we're going to get out of here. We'll be back on Monday with more right here on nbnn till then i'm les i'm jack and we are nbnn have a great weekend everybody we'll see you all on monday ta-ta